Alright, so this is the voiceover, of course, I just figured it'd be easier since this is a really long battle. I'm putting text for every single um, turn, it'd just be difficult. So, in the first turn, I predicted him switching into, or on the first turn that I recorded, I predicted him switching into Metagross and went for Scout, which did a lot of damage. Now, here, I probably shouldn't have gone for Toxic or just something else because there's no way he would want to have to switch in and lose his Metagross. And here, he went for Mana Fee. So, if I went for Toxic, that would have been a really good play. I just, I didn't really think about it at the time. That was probably one of the mistakes I made. Now, he went into Mana Fee and I went to Ray Nicholas because, um, I'm sorry I pronounced that wrong, but that's just the easiest way I can find to pronounce it. So my Marinaclis is running Regenerator, so it's more of a switch in and switch out kind of set. I mean, Magic Co um, or Overco probably wouldn't be that useful here because um, I want it to be a tank, so that's kind of what I, but uh, but an attacker too, more of a switch in, so that's what I really run in Medic or in Rainaclis. I also run Assault Vest for optimal special defense. Now here I went for Future Sight because I figured Psychic isn't gonna do enough damage to to, to satisfy me and he he already set up a toglow so he probably does not want to switch out therefore making my future site likely hit so that's what I did and I figured I may as well try and waste as many turns as I could so I went to Milotic because he's probably gonna go for a stab surf again I don't know why he's not running Scald instead because in my opinion Scald is just a better move but uh, he's doing surf and that's just his choice maybe for 2v2s so here I went to Dragonite because I figured if he's running Mana Fee, he's probably got Energy Ball, Ice Beam and of course his stab, which is Surf instead of Scald, so I figured he's gonna go Energy Ball, and that was a really good play on my part because I took only 1-8 damage from that, and I was able to get the future, the future side to land. Now right here, I think I got a bit greedy thinking that Extreme Speed would do enough damage to KO. Normally, normally Dragonite does a lot of damage, but this Manaphy was a lot more tankier than I expected, and he did take the hit well, then he follows with Ice Beam, but he didn't take the hit really well because he's still really low, so that just kind of puts him in a bad situation but that also made me lose my Dragonite and that was probably the other significant mistake I made other than Toxicating because my team can't really take Mana Fee to a wall and normally I have Toxapex, I have Chansey, that could, those can really just check Mana Fee without, without hesitation but I didn't have any of those on this team. This was an offensive or a more offensive or a more balanced actually, a more balanced team. But I didn't really have a check and that's what I really wish I could have worked on maybe as a replacement to Dragon Eye something that could have taken water hits while Toxic effects would have been a choice but that's not really that fun to use since it's stall so here I went for Revolve because Revolve was probably the second best or the best play and Metagross would have worked too because I could have Mega Walled but I wanted to put out Revolve I wanted to try it and I figured that uh, with the diverse moves that I had it could do a lot of damage and thankfully I did make a good play there because he went to Greninja and I did have Brick Break with me so I was able to knock him out and that was probably a protein Greninja from uh, what I heard so that that could have been really threatening because I don't really have too many checks for it but it's not that physically strong or physically defensive but that doesn't neglect the fact that he probably invested all of his stats into offense so that would have been potent and now he goes into Mimic you which is another scary threat and now you have if you have toxic effects no problem but i don't have toxic effects so i had to go into my Lodic, which is probably my core in this battle it's probably the most important pokemon to keep alive because it really does um check pokemon like mimikyu and uh here i decided the best play would be to go to scout he still has his uh his substitute from his abilities so uh, for him himself, it'd be most optimal to try and just get damage done. But I went for Scald for the burn because that's normally what I do against physical attackers if I don't have Toxic Pack. Because once you burn it, you can really cripple it. And thankfully, I got lucky because on the first turn, I was able to land the burn. And uh, that was his Mimikyu basically gone. That Gary, so energy ball would be the best play but then at the same time do i really want my my loaded to take a lot of damage that that was the question i was asking so um i decided to go into metagross because um if you went for tail glow i could still knock him out and he would take energy ball fairly well that was probably the best play i don't know why it took so much talk but it just did and uh i did tank that energy ball not as well as i was expecting to but it's still not not so bad and I decided I was gonna go for the Mega Evolution and the Zen Headbutt because Steel type of course isn't gonna do that much damage and I don't wanna have to risk going for a fighting type move and uh, having to lose speed. So 
so right here he goes for glass board so i would think that um zen headbutt was the best play now if i went for meteor mash i could do a lot of damage and uh even get that plus one uh, that, that's the only incentive i see behind it but as you can see zen headbutt barely did any damage to him so i doubt meteor mash would have either and it wouldn't be a two-way ko and if you got if you went for earthquake that would just be really bad for my metagross i mean i probably would be able to knock him out on second top but it's just um he has other choices like me his own metagross and that's just gonna be you know it's just not gonna be good so i decided it's best to try and keep my metagross in the game and uh here i decided you know the best play would probably be glass core itself because um he's probably gonna go for earthquake that's what i was in at least that's what i was initially thinking and like, here he just goes for boost so um if i did go for a meteor match it probably wouldn't even do that much anyways because if we get all his hp back then i don't think i would take two hits maybe actually maybe i don't really know but um here he goes for the protect and uh one thing i got lucky about was that his glass core set it was a stall set but i didn't really have anything to deal with another glass score so this was the optimal play here and for my glass score though i'm running utility instead of stall so um i have defog knock off roost and earthquake i have earthquake of course because i always want that stab because that's kind of what i you know I, I think it's important to have stab on your pokemon so that's what i i went for so here because he was in the mood for expecting my glass score he was just going for his own stall because he couldn't really do much and he didn't want to switch into anything and that's when i decided to take the opportunity to put in weavile and this is what i really enjoy about having offensive pokemon um when you have them you force your opponent to have to make you know big decisions you put them in dangerous positions where if you have fully defensive pokemon you can't really do that so this was one thing i will say was good about the offensive team and especially Weavile because this pokemon it had so much uh versatility in its attacks dark fighting ice it could do a ton of damage so here i predicted he was going to switch out because he went for protect and most users that are predictable will go for protect to see what you're going to do and then uh switch in accordingly to that so here he went for metagross and i went for a night slash predicting the metagross and that was enough to take him out and that was his metagross gone from the game and this was this was probably one of my favorite reads because it was detrimental to his setup so here he goes for blaze again now he's in a bad situation but um here for me lazy king is just not something you want to stay into because he's got fire and fighting type moves anything he goes for will probably one shot my v -ball. so i decided i'd switch out he could go for a sword stand to be smart but i figured he might as well just attack at this moment and he goes for the high jump kick and thankfully i do switch it to glass core which does take this hit really long i'm surprised because normally my utility glass core isn't so good but in this battle it did really uh come in clutch with this tanking and uh here he goes for the protect i go for the knockoff in case he tries to switch into something else um i don't really know what else he would have been able to switch into i mean i guess glass core would probably be his best switch in but he decides to stay in and uh i go for the earthquake because i don't want him to do that much damage especially with that speed boost and everything so he goes for the fire blitz he just goes for the damage i think that's really all he wanted his blaziken to do and i'm able to take it out with an earthquake That's how much damage a surf will do. Now, if he if he if he switched out after, you know, that prediction, then uh, I'd have to I could I could even lose the game potentially because mana feeds is really dangerous. And if I make the wrong move, I lose Metagross. Weavile is my last chance to take out mana feed. But if he's able to take out Weavile too, then that's we that's that's basically the game. So right here, I figured he was going to switch to Gliscor, and that was a good read on my part because there's no way he was going to stay in and see what was going to happen with Math B. And right here, he does go into Gliscor, and this was probably the checkmate of the match because once Weavile was put in there, um, his Gliscor just dies to Weavile completely. It's, it's got that four times weakness, which is the one thing that I'm glad I had because this is the big weakness of Gliscor. So I go for the Ice Punch. He goes for Protect. So um, I would say that's actually a pretty good move because in case he did the same thing, in case I predicted him doing the same thing as last time and switching out, then uh, this would be optimal for him because he could potentially get that KO if I, if I went for the wrong move. But I went for Ice Punch anyways because even if he went for Mana Feed, uh, I would still do enough damage and I could just finish it with Night Slash. So that would make his situation even worse than it is right now. So he did make a good play by staying in and then he goes into Mana Feed and I finish him off with the Night Slash. And that that is the game right there i will say it is a it was a really fun game one of my favorites for sure it's, it required a lot of predicting and stuff but yeah that that is the game for you guys